Is that going? Hello YouTube. How are you? Uh, my name's Alistair, or some people call me Chemo because of my lack of hair. Um, I just want to start off by saying I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not a tutor. Um, I'm just here to give some support and advice for people that are maybe in isolation or your business has been forced to shut. And um, this is uh, by getting yourself on the web or getting your website sorted out. Uh, this will mitigate some of the uh, some of the costs that you might have um, incurred had you stayed open. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go right from the beginning, um, from selecting a domain name to getting hosting, getting your first web page written up, and um, and and going live and start selling stuff online. Um, seeing as uh, Delivery drivers are counted as key workers. I think now is uh, probably the perfect opportunity to um, actually get online and start selling stuff online. Um, please feel free to introduce yourselves on the chat. Um, I'm going to go try and go quite slowly, um, but if I'm waffling or not making sense or, I'm, or if I'm going too quickly for you, just uh, drop me a message on the chat and um, I'll go back a couple of steps or reiterate some points that I've made. Um, right, let's just have a look, see if there's anybody actually watching. Uh, we'll look at that. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, yes, good news. Right, so uh, I'm going to assume that most, uh, well, all two of you uh, have not got a website at the moment and you haven't selected a domain name. Um, so unless you tell me otherwise, I'm going to start right from the beginning. So um, things to consider when you're uh, picking a don domain name. There's some um, there's some faux pas. So uh, absolutely do not do in the interests of uh, getting ranked on Google and stuff. Um, and there's some stuff that you you really need to sort of consider. Um, obviously, you want your business name in your domain, um, but also your uh, the services that you provide so uh, for instance if you're a locksmith um, you might call yourself keytech uh, keytech.co.uk would be good but then keytech locksmiths.co.uk because you've got that keyword locksmiths in your domain name that will massively help your um, SEO uh, keytech hyphen locksmiths however is a bit of a, a, a faux pas um, hyphens leave hyphens out of your domain names um well the difference between dot com and dot co dot uk the main difference is just availability and cost um there's there's a lot of other um domain extensions you can get now um even things like dot pet and stuff you know so if you're a, a veterinary surgery having dot pet might be quite a good one but on the flip side of that, um, some of these domain extensions can look a bit like spam. Uh, if you start doing mail shots um, to your existing customers, um, stuff like that, it might get filtered straight into their spam folder. Or if you're sharing a link, people might think that it's a spam link and, um, and not click on it. Uh, so you, you, but your best bet is .co.uk or .com, obviously .org if you're some sort of... Um, government organization or charity or something like that um, that's always a good one if your domain is available and nobody else has used it before uh, you're likely um, only gonna only gonna get charged about a penny for your first year so it's one pence um, that's normally if you buy multi-year so you'll have to buy at least two years your second year will be around about ten pounds so ten pounds and a penny for two years of having that domain you know it's it's, it's better than paying three thousand pounds for somebody else to build your website for you um especially in this current climate so uh yeah so when we're searching for a domain name if you go to any registrar uh, i normally use godaddy uh, it's uk.godaddy.com they've got a search bar right 
right up on the front page and you can start um, start your search there so let's have a look um, uh, I don't know who's watching so I don't know what businesses you have uh, so let, let's go for a locksmith locksmiths look at that 273,476 pounds and 94 pence now this domain is available now the reason it's available is looking at the price most likely because somebody has had it bought it before and then let it expire now you can have any domain um, let's, let's go for an arbitrary I'll probably get that semicolon on that other. an arbitrary name for instance, so I can show you the penny. Look at that, 1p for your first year, 11.99 for every year after that. Now, if I bought that, it cost me uh, 12 pounds, had it for two years, and then I let it expire. Because I'd registered that once already, um, the registrar, ICANN, I-C-A-N-N, will know that it's um, it, it, it's been used before, um, so somebody else is likely to want it so then that the, the price becomes a premium price and you end up paying 250 grand for it so uh, as you go in just try and find one that's a reasonable price um, like I say any domain that's never been registered before you'd likely to get it for a penny with GoDaddy uh, and, and any other sort of registrar will have some sort of deal on um, it all goes through the same um, process uh, you have to pay ICANN fees, etc., but that's normally included in the price. Um, hence, the 1p for the first year, uh, that wouldn't cover the ICANN fees, so they want you to register register for your second year at the same time just to cover those costs. Uh, so, uh, I'll give you an example, actually. Uh, Gluit, I had a website called Gluit. Uh, that cost me a penny when I registered it originally. Okay, uh, might have been it dot com. Uh, oh, I'm still registered. Oh, there we go. Uh, what about um, say defense medical? Let's see what that comes up with. There you go. <laughs> that's why that's one I let expire. Um, One thousand three hundred ninety-three pounds and forty-seven pence now. That would have cost me a penny when I first got it, sort of five or six years ago. <clears throat> All right, so once you've uh, considered your domain name and you're happy with what you want to go for, um, you'll get it registered um, through whatever provider you choose. That doesn't mean that you need to have your hosting with that provider. Um, you can have your website hosted by uh, HostGator, GoDaddy, Cloudflare, anybody uh, the just 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 go for whoever's whoever's offering the domain at the cheapest price obviously some someone's some are going to rip you off some are going to be very reasonable so just spend a bit of time um if the, the first one that you see don't just go for straight away um unless it is a penny uh when you're looking at um hosting providers the the, the price that you pay is based on how many visitors you think you're going to get. Um, now you can get um, hosting for say three pounds, but once you've got uh, an established business and um, you can start getting um, concurrent visitors, sort of uh, multiple visitors at once, that server's not going to be able to um, put up with the bandwidth. So then you're going to want to upgrade. Um, the three pounds ones that you get, um, there's not a lot of um, leeway that you get when it comes to configuring the server. Um, you have to upload all your files uh, via what's called FTP, which is like a file manager. Whereas if you go for the next one up, like a business plan, it costs you around about seven pounds, seven to ten pounds a month. Um, you can then you'll have a, a, an entire panel, um, a C panel, control panel. Um, and you, that'll have its own um, file explorer on there. You can um, manage your uh, site certificates, your security certificates. You can add subdomains. So, for instance, 
Um, I could have, uh, I've got my, my website is businessspider.co.uk, but then I've got another subdomain um, called uh, store.businessspider, which is where I sell products from. And I've got uh, wip.businessspider.co.uk, um, and that is where I build my websites from before they go live when I move them onto the client's own server. Um, so uh, the amount of the amount of money, the, the amount of difference per month you're paying is a few pounds, but it is definitely worth starting out with that, especially if you're going to go for a subscription where you're going to where, where, where you're going to get a sort of a five year multi buy discount or something like that. You know, go for the go for the seven to ten pounds ones. Uh, anything with a C panel is what you want. Um, once you've decided what hosting provider to go for, there are some steps that you're going to need to follow to get your um, get your domain pointing to that host. Uh, and we go through uh, what's called a dynamic name server. All you have to do basically is tell um, tell the, the the registrar who you could put your domain from where you want that domain to point to. So the actual physical address of the server or the IP address of the server. You can do that yourself, a uh, few simple steps. If you if you struggle with it, you know, you can give us a shout and I'll um, I'll take you through it or even do it for you. It don't doesn't take long. Uh, right, should we get on with it then? Let's have a look at um, a Building a, uh, a website. Let's have a look. So let's go. Uh, so this is another um, subdomain that I was talking about. Sandbox.businessspider.co.uk. Again, uh, with a seven pounds hosting plan, you can have as many of these as you want uh, within reason. But there is a limited bandwidth that you'll get as well. So um, the more that you've got, uh, and the more people logging onto these different sites, the slower things are going to get. Um, I need to get on cPanel really to set up the hosting. All right, give us two seconds. Let's get rid of that. Oh, where's my tab gone? Not even sure if anybody's still here. Right, uh, okay, I'm going to sign in. Now that made sense to everybody. If it didn't, by the way, just give us a give us a message, and I'll um I'll explain a few bits or anything that you're um, not sure about again. So this is the control panel that I was talking about. Um, we've got some server information down the right hand side here. Excuse me. Um, disk usage, uh, this is a, a, a seven pounds a month um, site. We've got unlimited disk usage, um, unlimited bandwidth, um, add-on dom domains, unlimited subdomains, unlimited, unlimited email accounts, um, unlimited databases for seven quid a month you can't really go wrong um, there's there's other providers that will um, sell you things on top like um, email um, and uh, cloud storage you just don't need it if you've got the seven pounds um, 
a C panel uh, and and hosting, you get all that anyway. Um, so watch out for that. You don't. You only really need the basic um, things that they offer you. So when you when you get to your cart, you'll see um, them. Sometimes they might um, automatically check a box for you saying yes, I want email. A yes, I want SSL, etc., etc. You don't need any of it if you're going for this one. Um, so if we have a look, yeah, we've, it's got its own file manager, um, all sorts of analytics you can use, um, subdomain creation, add-on domains. Um, you can monitor your bandwidth. Um, you can install packages like uh, being able to zip files and stuff like that on the server. Um, SSL certificates. I mean those. I'll go through that in a later lesson. You can actually write your own SSL certificate and save yourself about sixty pounds a year. Um, they do expire every year, but someone's just set up a reminder on your, on your calendar or whatever um, to get it done. You know, it, it makes makes no odds. It takes you half an hour. Um, <clears throat> again, I'll go through that again. There's all your email, email forwarding, and stuff like that. Um, now, the emails that you get with this. Um, you have to sort of configure your um, Outlook mailbox or, or your phone um, with the settings that it comes with on here or just pay for G Suite which is something like a pound a month um, and that, that is from Google and you can have your inbox um, served by Google um, and it makes everything a lot lot easier and it's relatively, I mean £12 a year it's, um, it's a no brainer um, so so far for one year, um, well, let's just say two years, so that's twenty-four pounds plus um, your um, domain registration, um, etc., uh, and your your hosting. For two years, you've spent what one hundred and twenty quid. Um, whereas you know places, things, things like um, uh, not Wix because I think there's that's free now, but um, there's other providers, um, what's it? Shop Shopify, an old bloke who spends twenty five pounds a month on his Shopify account. No need, no need at all. Um, it does take a little bit of time, but <laughs> time is what we've got at the moment. So uh, yeah, it'll save you loads of money. And obviously, if you've got no money coming in because your business is had to shut for for the meantime, then um, yeah, it's a uh, Martin Lewis money saving expert. Uh, <clears throat> what else have we got? Right, so uh, let's say that this is uh, a fresh account, a fresh uh, uh, install of your control panel. Um, we've got an, uh, an applications installer. Now this is for content management systems. I don't know if that make me yellow on there. Um, with a content management system, something like WordPress or Joomla, um, there's little to no coding required. I mean, for a basic website, um, you're always going to need a little bit of tweaking, but it's better to pay someone £35 for one hour of tweaking a couple of bits on your website than pay them three grand to have them build the whole thing uh, by using HTML code or PHP starting from scratch. Um, if you install WordPress, uh, that runs off PHP, which is uh, dynamically builds web pages. So there's not actually any HTML pages on the server. It's as a visitor goes and, and navigates through, it dynamically just builds the pages out of all these pieces. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that you basically just borrowing code um, and using themes uh, and plugins to add um, your uh, functionality to the site. The best thing about WordPress is it's completely free and there is an absolutely massive um, amount of help and guidance available online. I mean, you've got people, loads and loads of people doing YouTube videos. If you come across a problem, just type it in to Google and there's always somebody that's had the same problem and you can usually find a solution pretty quickly. Um, People paste bits of code on there that you can add uh, into the into the theme editor that will sort out a couple of bits. Um, you know, it's for 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 something that's free. It's the support is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's it's completely open source, and there is uh, the a, a public license on it, which means everything that's available on 
WordPress that people buy, uh, people make, it has to be made available for free. So even the stuff that's premium, you can get an outdated version or a, a version before. Um, some some stuff gets updated, you know, on the first Thursday of the month. You can get it on, get the previous version on the Wednesday, and it doesn't cost you anything. I mean, you can save yourself another forty odd quid there. Um, there's, there's there's loads and loads of resources available, loads of help forums. It's absolutely brilliant and um, it's perfect for if you if you want to save money and build your own website, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, I I digress. So I've got Installatron here. Um, this is the Applications Installer. If we go to the browser up in the top right, uh, we'll see some of the um, some of the the, the more well known. Uh, content management systems. Um, these are all different things. I mean, you've got um, photo servers, file servers, um, community forums, um, lots and lots of stuff. Uh, and up there, top left hand corner, WordPress. So just give that a click. And then there, in big, install this application. And when you click that, <clears throat> it will ask you. Um, what domain you want to set it up on. In fact, I've skipped a step here because I need you to set up your domain on the C panel. So we'll go back to that in a second. But I mean, this is a form, it's self-explanatory. There's all sorts of guidance notes for each section, everything you want to put in. Um, you name, uh, name your site, uh, website title, my blog, website tagline, just another WordPress. Uh, your website title this is what you want if you add all the details in here um, it WordPress when it installs is going to build some of the most basic parts of your website for you so you don't even need to do anything once you once you've installed it you visit the website then you get even more options it'll ask you more questions like your, your address for the contact us page um, if you, if you want to sell stuff what types of things you want to sell what types of business you are and then it'll offer you pictures based on your selections that you can use that are completely royalty free. Um, all sorts of stuff. It's absolutely uh, absolutely brilliant and easy. It just takes a little bit of time. And that's what we've got. Uh, right, so we go back to the control panel. And um, you need to add your domain. The, you might have uh, registered it elsewhere or with your same provider, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so we'll... Just click on domains right in the middle there. Um, create a new domain. Enter the domain in there in full. So uh, there we go. It gives you other options. Um, just use businessbuyer.co.uk. Submit. Then when you go into your install installatron, you select that domain. It'll be in the drop down menu. You can select that domain. Then go to your um, back to your front page of your control panel, and there we've got your IP address. This is the address that you need to tell your um, domain registrar where you bought your domain from, where to point the domain to. Um, that can take up to seventy-two hours to update, um, but you're normally done with about half an hour, depending on who your who your registrar is. <clears throat> right, are we all keeping up? Is anyone even there? <laughs> right. Right. Well, no news is good news. So I'm assuming you all you're all happy with what I've gone through now. Or I might even be teaching your grandmother to suck eggs. Uh, you might have got a lot further than this already. Um, feel free to ask any questions if you want to push on. Uh, if I'm wasting my time here and, the, uh, and and everybody's happy to go into something a bit more sort of in depth rather than starting off at zero, if you've already got your hosting set up or you've got a website that you just want updating, just let me know and we'll we'll go forwards. Um, I don't want to sit here and waste anybody's time. <clears throat> right, so let's install. What have I got on here? What domains can I use? Uh, Tell you what, I'll create another subdomain so we can start from scratch. Uh, I will call it uh, YouTube. Uh -huh. 
Client Selection. Create that. Did I even click on that? Yeah, it's thinking, it's thinking. <clears throat> Clicked on it and it had already made it. Isolation.lewisleisure.co.uk. There we go. Right. So I shall go to the application installer. Uh, find WordPress again, which is there. Install this application. Uh, domain. So isolation. Isolation. Go. See, that's it. As simple as that. You just um, select the domain that you've got. Directory. So this is where all your all your files are going to be stored. Um, you can create a directory if you want, or just leave it blank, and it will be in the root directory. If you've only got one website, just leave it. Just just put it as blank. Um, leave all these settings. Um, you know, end user license agreement, etc. Automatic update. It's best to just leave these settings as they are. Uh, Administrator username and password. So, again, I don't want to teach your grandmother to suck eggs, but this is what your, your username and password that you're going to use to log in to the back end of the site to make all your edits. Um, uh. Leave all these settings again and click install. This doesn't usually take long. Um, you know, 60 seconds is all we're going to be waiting. Um, there we go. You can see it's it's already nearly done 10%. We've only just clicked on it. Quite a quick process. Right, now that's installed, we've got three links here. That is the link to the website, the top one. Um, this is the link to your control panel, and this is the link to the forum, uh, or the official WordPress support forum. Again, it's all, it's all free. Um, right, so uh, if it, all you need to remember is forward slash, forward slash WP hyphen admin um, after your domain. So if we visit that now, we will see the questions being asked by WordPress. So there we go. It's just a setup wizard. Um, you may as well go through it. You can always change these settings later. Um, if you've got an online shop, that's probably most applicable to uh, who this video is aimed at. Um, to select an industry. So this will just um, build some, uh, give you give you suggestions when you're first writing your, start writing your site. Um, install relevant parts and services that you it thinks you might need um, uh, again there's a title that it took uh, from the pre-installer uh, store settings so store location uh, you can change your currency 
Um, shipping and taxes. Uh, well, I will ship physical goods to my customers. Yes, we'll charge tax, etc., etc. There we go. PayPal, Stripe, and other payment options. So this will automatically configure your store to work with PayPal if you use PayPal um, or other. <clears throat> Again, this is what I was saying earlier about um, it, it sort of um, building your contact page for you. Um, you know, enter your personal details, well, not your business details, not your personal details. You know, I mean, you can send me your credit card numbers if you like. Uh, fax number. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know why you'd have a fax if you clearly have a, an email. Uh, enter your enter your. Um, address in there and this is all um, automatically update you've even got your Facebook you wait your Facebook URL in there Uh, yeah, if you leave fax number blank, it won't even give you the field uh, when it builds the page. We've also got LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, etc., etc. Google Plus. Don't even think that's a thing anymore, or they're at least they're phasing it out. Right. So themes. This is um, a good opportunity to have a browse around other um, pre-configured sites and. Give your give your site the the general feel that you you, you think you'd like. Um, look at things like on the theme where the menu bar sits. If it's above or below the main header image. If there's a space for your logo to go. If there's a search bar. Um, how big the header image is. Um, whether you've got your store on the very front page or whether you want uh, an about section on the front of your page or or whatever. Um, it will give you a, f uh, a few here um, you can change this later um, and it's best to just just click any just to get through and then when you uh, go to change change this theme which we'll go through later um, you can have a better look at all the themes that are available I mean there's thousands um, thousands of free ones thousands of premium ones as well um, but there's there's absolutely loads and to for it to only give you a snippet of three or four is a bit unfair so just just click any of them uh, and then we can have a look at some um, some other themes as we go uh, again this is still um, still the wizard it's taking you through all the steps of everything you need to do um, how to customize um, and we've got uh, a little sample some sample shop um, products in the shop there and it would have built some sample pages. There's the contact us page there where it's taken the information that we've given it. Oh, there we go, it's just a bit slow to load. Um, sometimes can be when you've freshly installed it. But, uh, yeah, so we'll select that theme. Sing happy birthday twice while it loads. Give it another few seconds, and if it's not loading again, I'll just refresh the page. It says not to, but it's not the end of the world if you do. Just give it a little, a little kick up the backside. Okay, I'll just take out the last bit of that URL. Go to the admin log on.
Mm. <laughs> well, let's do that again then. very happy with me doing that there you go right so there's our website it's installed ready to go we've got sample content on there we've got sample pages um, again this uh, contact us it's pre it's, it's added some some text for you you probably want to change that but you know it's not bad as it is um, the contact form will um, send you emails with the um, the emails that you entered on the wizard so that's all set up, that's done. Um, you would need to test it, obviously, to make sure it is actually working. Um, we've got, it's built us uh, a My Account page, um, so you can log on, etc. cetera. Um, the customers can um, create themselves an account, see all their previous orders, see the status of their order. Um, you know, it's, a, it's for what we've done there in 40 minutes, you know, we've, we've created a basic functioning website all you have to do now is add your products and change some of the um, change some of the wording and put some images on um, this is fully customizable like I said you know we've just gone from an arbitrary theme there um, we can change that and we can this is this is the very first step in making a website look and feel and function exactly how you want it to and you know like I say it's uh, WordPress it's somebody's done the coding for you so you've borrowed it off them now because it is just code you can always change it you can add things take things away um, you know you've got plugins etc you can use <clears throat> so this is this is what we've got at the moment isn't going to be everybody's website you're not stuck with that this is just the very base that we're going to work off uh, now has that finished yet no right. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in on this window so remember forward slash WP hyphen admin that should take us to the back end admin panel or the login. Uh, this is the login that you created earlier in the previous steps when we uh, in the pre installer. Right, I'll go back to um, the themes, but just a, a quick heads up on this screen here. This is the back end management panel. Um, here we've got um, your media library of all your pictures that you upload, uh, the pages that you create. Uh, if we have a look in there, we've got some of the pages that have been made for us about us, cart, checkout, etc. etc. We've got the accounts page uh, that we saw the login for just now. Um, news, that's your blog, or you can link that to your Facebook and have that automatically update. Um, um, uh, WooCommerce. WooCommerce is the standard platform for selling um, online on WordPress. It's uh, it's good. It gets updated a lot. It's not buggy at all. Um, lots and lots of options that are pre-installed on it. Lots of customizations that you can add to it. You can get a lot for free. Uh, and even like I was saying earlier, even the paid ones you can get for free. You just have to sort of do a little bit more googling. Um, products. If we have a look there, there's these sample products that we've that we saw on the front page. Um, another day, I'll go through creating products. Um, probably do that tomorrow. Actually, this is uh, got for a lot more stuff than I'd previously imagined. Um, so appearance. This is uh, the, the, one of the first things that you're going to want to go to. Um, at the very top there, we've got themes. We'll have a look and see exactly what's available. At the top of the corner there. Got add new, click on that. Now, this is where you might get lost. You can you can end up going down the hole with this, trying to find a theme that you really really like the look of. Um, these are just the featured ones that are popular, what people are using the most. Um, 
uh, latest ones, so the the, the very the, the newest ones that have been written and shared. Um, but yeah, like I say, I mean, there's all these different layouts. Um, you know, you've got you've got one here that's not got any um, header image and a black um, menu bar, and then the one just below it, you've got a sort of transparent menu bar right at the top, but then this huge image with a big call to action button in the middle. So um, telling people like this is what I want you to do, this is where I think you're going to go, this is why you're at my site. Click this button, and we'll we'll sort you out. Take you to the shop or whatever. Um, then you've got ones like this, uh, this one here, uh, Axis Magazine. Um, in my opinion, it's not great. It's uh, you know what what am I supposed to do there? What am I looking for? It's just a bit a bit overwhelming, but uh, you know it's just it might might suit your business. Say uh, Wincanton Word might want something like that with all their articles across the front. Um, but yeah, so um, again, all these themes, you know, you're looking for the general layout just to make your life easier, make things a bit quicker so you can just change the picture, change some of the words, change what the button does. You know, um, if you get this pretty much what you want your site to look at, get the theme already there, then you'll make your life a lot, a lot quicker. And, you know, if we get let out in three weeks, then um, you know you stand you stand a good chance of having the website exactly how you how you, you want it to look and function uh, by the time you have to go back to work. Um, so yeah, to install them, just pick an arbitrary one. You get a preview of a blog page there. Um, ignore that because it's not for some reason doesn't doesn't show you the front page. And you've got the install icon on the top. That's it. One click, it'll install it. Um, and then if we open up, oh, activate as well. So everything you install, you have to activate. Um, this helps with debugging later. If your site crashes and we don't know why, we can deactivate things one by one until we find out what the problem is. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, okay, well, hmm. <laughs> Not that much different, but we haven't we haven't got any pictures in there at the moment. If we have a look at our media library in the back end, there's it looks like there's only going to be products there yet. There we go. Um, so you can delete all them when you add when you add your own ones. Delete everything apart from that because you need a default image for when you're um, when you're uploading a product and you haven't you haven't got a picture. You'll need something for it to fall back on. Or if the page doesn't load properly because someone's got a slow PC or whatever, it'll just fall back onto that picture. Um, yeah, plugins, we'll go through that another day, possibly tomorrow, um, as soon as we've done done a theme today, or did a theme today. Um, lots of plugins that it comes with already. There's your, there's your WooCommerce, that's your platform for selling. Some of these you might want to delete straight away, like Hello Dolly, this is just... Um, an arbitrary, you know, it's a bit of a joke really that they put on there, and you can just delete that straight away. Just click delete, and off it goes. Um, yeah, so you can have a look at your users, all the all the people that have registered in your store, um, your previous customers, etc. Um, you even get reports. So this is a graph that you can generate that that monitors your daily sales. If you put in how much an item costs you to buy before you sell it on. It will give you your margin, profit margin for the day, um, your turnover, um, day, month, year, or whatever whatever date you want to choose. That's really powerful, really handy for um, for sending off to your, uh, well, for when you're doing your accounts. So it's a good little, t little tool, that. Um, again, there's um, Woo WooCommerce with the products and and things like graphs like this there's all sorts of stuff you can get you can even get a point of sale so your, your epos your till you can have your till is your website but you're looking at a different sort of um, user panel for it um, I use that in Wincanton Vape um, but, and it's just it's just absolutely brilliant it can update the stock at the same time uh, so if you, you sell your last item in the shop or you, you sell it on it somebody somebody buys your last item online 
you won't then be able to sell it to somebody physically in your shop at the same time. Um, yeah, so I mean that's, you get a lot of um, EPOS that can integrate with WooCommerce as well. Um, the ones, so if you've already paid for one, you've already paid your 600 quid for the year or whatever, um, you just ask ask your provider for, for a plugin or, um, or if, first of all, make sure that they can integrate with WooCommerce. Most of them do because it's a pretty standard platform. I mean, was it 60% of all the stores that you go on online are, um, are run by WordPress and they're mostly run by WooCommerce. Um, yeah, I, uh, so yeah, what, what we'll do tomorrow then, we'll, we'll go through a little bit more customization. Um, we'll put some, put a couple of products on, uh, I'll show you how you can, um, have your products so you can, um, sell it by different quantities, uh, colors, um, different sort of attributes, um, variations to all of your products. Um, how you can, uh, do stock, use stock management on your website. So have that do all your stock taking for you, etc. All you have to do is check it every now and again, periodically. Um, there is a lot of stuff that your new website can do to make your life a lot easier and to give you back a lot of time that you waste in the evenings doing stuff that can be automated for free using WordPress. Um, it's once you've got it up and running, you'll and you know you've been using it for six months. You'll wonder how you even how you even spent all those hours in the evening <laughs> sorting your business out when it could have all been done for you by a computer. It's uh, it's brilliant. Um, well, I hope you've found that um, useful. Um, I hope I've not um, gone too fast or too slow or I hope that you weren't all expecting me to do something else, um, sort of go a bit deeper. But you know, this is for um, beginners. Um, I'm just trying to save you a bit of money, give you something to do while you're in isolation. And um, yeah, hopefully you've got a few bits to be getting on with then. Um, I'll be back on again nine o'clock tomorrow, uh, and I'll hang around for um, I'll hang around for sort of ten fifteen minutes now. If anybody's got any questions or if they've got anything they want me to go over again, um, or if they've got specific questions about their own website, you know, just uh, just leave us a comment, and um, I'll uh, I'll answer anything that you might want to ask. Cool, well, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Now, how do I stop this? All right, here we go.